The idea of our technology enabling a good or fairly effective molecule or drug to be a better product is pretty straightforward. And there's numerous examples of drugs that the route of administration itself is the limiting factor to being a good product. Because the molecule has to be given, for example, in a high volume, it can't be an oral pill or it can't be a subcutaneous injection. It may have have to be an infusion treatment where the patient goes to an infusion center and gets an IV hookup and has the drug infused for an hour, 30 minutes. Or what if there is a way to get a mini infusion or an injection in your home? That is essentially where our technology is positioned. It is positioned to take a clinically proven drug or molecule that may already be approved, we can turn it into a more convenient product. We may even be able to dial out the side effects of the current standard of care, and we may even be able to create a more efficacious drug because our technology is a one-week subcutaneous injection. We can take a molecule that might be given twice a day orally or once a month as an infusion therapy and prospectively turn that into a once-a-week sub-Q injection where the therapeutic effect is enforced that whole time, that we can keep that molecule in circulation, whether it's in the plasma or on a target, for that period of time. 